Hi, I'm David Gonzalez and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Mystica VR Optical Flow Stitching and Mystica VR Edge Points to advanced tools that will allow you to create perfectly seamless stitching. For that we're going to import a new shot, just navigate to the folder where the rushes are, select them all and drag them to my storyboard to create a new instance. We activate Mosaic View go to a good place for syncing and just click on sync click OK and go back out of VR view mode I'm just gonna go ahead and load the preset for the cube Okay. As we saw in previous tutorials, uh, when adding presets we may need to shuffle the cameras around to its right position. So I'm gonna put this one here, this one goes here, maybe realign the horizon with control drag and camera 6 and camera 2 are swap. Okay, that should be correct now. So we can move on to the next step, which will be color matching. Just go to color, match color. We can see that camera 4 is slightly different, so I can manually adjust it, remove some of that red and make it a bit greener. Okay. Uh, now that the color is uh, correct, I can see how the cameras are in perfectly matching, so I may need to apply and improve alignment just click on it and it will quickly adjust it and this may be without any advanced techniques um, this will be the best stitching that we can get uh, but in VR uh, due to the nature of the shooting in which we are using six different cameras in six, six slightly different positions we always dealing with parallax um, so if we have a perfect stitch in the foreground uh, there we will have mismatches in the background or the opposite if we have a perfect stitch in the background we will have mismatches in the foreground the only way to solve that is with uh, either masking or as Mystica VR does uh, applying optical flow on the stitching so we're gonna focus on this part of the image Let's take his hands around. You can see that if I increase the feather we get double image but as soon as I click on optical flow the pixels warp together into the right position so we just on and off with the optical flow we can see how they go into the right place in some other places as well so his head goes into the right place as well Optical flow will help us a lot in many many shots, but it, it's not at all intended to fix any situation. Uh, we always need to be based on a good stitching, on a good rig, a good alignment of the cameras, and then uh, step by step until we get the most perfect geometry, then we can apply optical flow to match uh, the remaining pixels. Another of the tools that we provide in Mystica is edge points. So in this case we have a seam going straight through the face of one of our characters and also in that area here. Um, what I'm gonna do is reduce the feather a bit and add an edge point to the camera 3 which will protect that area and keep it into this camera. So just go to positions, add edge point and drag the edge point to the area I want to protect. So in this case the optical flow is acting in that area now and is not warping his head. If I want to protect this area as well, I want to click on camera 5, go to positions, at edge point and drag it to protect that area as well. So with these two uh, advanced tools, optical flow stitching and edge points, you will get a much more accurate stitching in a simple way. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.